hello friends welcome to our channel right click education in today's video we will learn how we can implement angular material table in our angular application so without getting any late let's get started open your chrome type angular material go to angular material official website which is material.angular.io click on components in the left side you can see all the angular material elements right so click on table first let me show you how angular material table look like then we will try to implement it okay so scroll down so if you see right this is how angular material table looks like so whenever you try to show some data into tabular form you can use angular material table okay so let's start implementing it so in order to do that first we need to import this math table module so copy it go to your vs code open app.module.ts i have already opened it so paste the import here and copy this math table module under the ng module import section paste it now we are done with the import part okay now let's go to our html and try to implement the html part so in the html first of all we will create one div okay inside this div we will create table okay so name it as table so table tag is used to create table now in order to make it as material table we need to add mat table tag okay now since we have written the tag for table now we need to add the columns to that table right so let's add that also okay so for that we will first use ng container okay now inside this ng container we will first bind this ng container with match column diff okay so mat column diff equals to the name of the column okay so let's suppose i will be creating one column name position okay and we have uh, binded this column with mat column diff d should be capital it should follow the camel case now in the ng module we will add header to the column right so for that we should use th tag inside th tag we will add mat header cell mat header cell okay and bind it with property mat header cell def mat header cell def okay and then you need to give the actual name that you want to show on the column okay so header so basically give the header name so i will give this header name as suppose number okay now we need to bind the data also okay so for this column what will be the value of that column okay for that we need to bind a td means table data okay now add this to mat cell and bind it with mat cell def mat cell def okay <clears throat> mat cell def equals to 
we need to uh, go through the loop for loop in order to fetch all rows of the array right so uh, let's do it then you will get to know okay let element okay now let's bind the data part so let's do a string interpolation element dot position okay <clears throat> so this is how we have created one column now we need to also loop through the rows okay so suppose we have a column right and we have five rows so we need to loop through each row and print the column right so for that we will use tr tag which is table row okay add mat header row mat header row mat header row and also bind it with mat header row def mat header row def okay and bind it with displayed column displayed columns so columns so basically this displayed column will be an array which will contain all the name of columns that we want to add in this table okay we will create that but first we are working with the html only so this is done now again we need to loop through each row right for that add one more tr tag with mat row okay and bind it with mat row def mat row def i always forget to do the camel casing here this equals to let row columns and bind the columns with the array that will contain all the column name okay close this also now first we will create an array displayed columns which will contain our column name which is position okay so let's go to our app.component.ts <coughs> this is of string array okay equals to sorry string array and add the position column in it okay now we have created one column here that is position right now we will create one interface so let's do that sorry so we will create one folder with name interface inside this we will create a file with name suppose give the name as periodic element okay periodic element <coughs> dot ts right here we will create one interface export interface name of interface that is periodic element okay 
here we will create four properties and that properties will be our four columns okay so let's define it as name which of type string other is position that we have already added if you know it right this will be of type number again weight which is also of type number then we will have symbol which will of type string right so we have created these four properties <clears throat> which all will be the column names right let's go to our app.component.ts we will import this interface here so import periodic element okay we have imported it and what we will do we have added for now only one column we will add other four columns also okay position name weight symbol okay now let's create an array which will contain the table data okay so create it const element name the array as element data okay and it will be of type this periodic element okay so this array will be of type periodic element array okay and now we will create one array okay so i have already create array created array in order to save time so let me copy and paste that array so from here let me copy it <clears throat> and i will paste the array here so if you can see this array has 10 objects each object has four properties and each uh, all four properties have its corresponding value right so this is one thing and then we need to bind this data to our table right so in order to do that we will create one more variable that is data source or you can name it whatever you want i have named it as data source <clears throat> okay and it will be of type le so it will be basically of type element data right so this is the array that we have created above now we can bind this data source to the table that we have created so let's add that so for that we will use property binding that is data source okay and we bind it to the variable that we have created i have created with the name data source you can create this variable with whatever name you want okay so this is how uh, data is binded to the table now let's go to our localhost 4200 let's see so we cannot see anything right click on inspect click on console so it's saying couldn't find column with id name okay so what we will do we will also add more columns so basically we had four columns we have added only one column we will add more four uh, three columns to it okay and then we will see 
if it is working or not okay so let's add that i've copy pasted so I'm done with the formatting now let's change the name here so we had name column and the, the header should be also name bind it with property that is name element dot name again we have weight column the name of that column will be weight and we will bind it to the weight property then again we have symbol name the column as symbol okay and bind it with symbol property okay let's go to our ui and see how it looks like close this one <clears throat> so if you can see here right we have this angular material table so uh, we will add a style to it to give it a better view so let's add one class that is math elevation z3 okay so let me again go now if you can see here right this is the angular material table that we have implemented okay so name num <coughs> number name uh, weight symbol are the four columns and these are the corresponding values binded to it okay so let's let me give once again whatever we have done so far now first of all i created table with using tag mat table okay and then i have created columns in that column we have table header for th we have binded it with the name whatever name we want to give uh, for the header then we have td which binds the corresponding data for a column and we have here tr that is table row we have binded it with the array display columns and it will loop through the uh, data okay so it will loop through the array and then it will print each row okay and this displayed column is the array which will contain all the columns okay now go to our ts app.component.ts you can see what i have done here i have created one interface that is periodic element it has four properties position name weight and symbol and then we have created one array which is element data which is of type periodic element and these are the array data okay now we have created one variable data source which is of type element data and we have binded this data source to the property data source here if you see data source equals to data source so, so we have binded the array data to this data source property so it will basically help us to render the data on ui okay so this is the complete summary so if you see here we can see angular material table has been implemented right so uh, if you have any doubt regarding anything in this angular material table tutorial you can comment it below and i will definitely try to answer it and in the next video we will learn how we can implement a pagination and then we'll learn how we can implement sorting on this angular material table okay so if you haven't subscribed our channel please do subscribe our channel and press the bell icon to get more updates thanks and have a nice day